Welcome to Airguns of Idaho. I want to give a big shout out to some of the companies that have been helping us. So Idaho Airgun, Impulse Air, and Terminator Airguns and Outdoors. Thank you guys for helping us make this video possible. In today's video, we're going to be doing some slug testing with the Umex Gauntlet 30 cal that we have here. So here is our Umex Gauntlet 30 caliber. <clears throat> pretty nice, pretty nice. We have done some pretty cool upgrades to this gun, which I'll go through them in a second. And we are running a very nice LDC from Idaho, which is pretty awesome. So this is the Umex Gauntlet 30 cal. Um, as you can see, we do have a uh, Desert Tan chassis from Terminator Airguns and Outdoors. This is the G-Tag chassis for the Umex Gauntlet. Um, I do have a 580 cc carbon fiber bottle on here with a 3000 psi regulator pressure output on here um, we do have the nice barrel band on here to help stabilize the barrel as well with the bottle and um, one of the things that i like about this chassis is being able to install a bipod on here as you can see we do have a really nice rail on here and uh yeah guys this does make your umex gauntlet look much much more different than your average one so very nice i do want to thank scout from uh, air impulse for donating this ldc to the channel um, i got to meet um, scout at the air gun competition here in, in nampa idaho which was pretty cool getting to meet other people and uh yeah a lot of people in the industry were there so air impulse thank you guys uh, this is the 1300 for 30 caliber very nice very quiet ldc i am looking forward to adding more baffles on here so we can make this gun much much more quiet um, this gun is pushing about 115 foot pounds in 30 cal which is very high power um, and this thing is making a pretty good um, job quieting it down but hopefully in the future i will be buying more um, extensions for this and we can make it a little more quiet than what it is but um, yeah, very happy with the overall results out of this gun. Um, I am going to be doing the slug testing here pretty soon. And uh, yeah, guys, this is G30. How about we start the video and show you guys the results that I'm getting from my slugs. If you guys are interested in these slugs and you guys are here in southern Idaho, the slugs are going to be available at Shooter's Bench or Airgun Idaho or what is it called? Um, here's the logo, guys. I forgot the name. <laughs> So, all right here we go um let's start with the video all right guys so say hello to uh justin the beaver so uh yeah so here are some of the 30 cal slugs um this looks pretty good to me here you know about one inch there one two three pretty good um these are some of the 30 caliber slugs that i've been shooting at it and uh yeah the groups are going to be over here all right, so here's one of my groups with the uh, 30 cal slugs. This is 100 yards. This is my point of aim here. Um, first shot was up here. First, second, third, and fourth. So that's five shots here. That is about um, about two inches, maybe. About two inches at 100 yards, inch and a half, maybe, around there. But uh, yeah, here we go. All right, guys, that is the groups there. So this group here, these slugs here are the same slugs as these here. Um, yeah, you can see the same results. Basically, my first shot is always higher because um, it has red creep on here. So first shot, always higher, just like here, a little bit higher 
a little bit higher than the rest but uh that is one inch that is under one inch at 100 yards with my 30 cow slugs that's a different slug here much lighter weight than this one um, so higher elevation as you can see from center of the dot higher elevation so lighter weight um still did pretty good i did put one of the shots and uh yeah that's that's pretty decent there as well so these slugs here are actually pretty good as well these are lighter than these i believe a little bit lighter than these and uh yeah they do pretty damn good i would say so yeah guys that is 30 cow slugs All right, so I am very happy with the results that I'm getting from my slugs. We are getting about one inch to an inch and a half at 100 yards out of the Umarex gauntlet and the slugs that I make myself, which is which are very good results in my opinion. Um, next video, we're going to be trying to find the ballistic coefficient of my 30 caliber slugs, and uh, we are going to be shooting some groups out to 200 yards, which the groups are pretty impressive in my opinion. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video. We are going to be having some pretty good fun for next video and uh comment down below what kind of videos you guys might want to see um because uh i've been very busy lately and i've been trying to do a lot of slug testing and um you know i'm kind of just looking forward not really thinking about other stuff so comment down below if you guys want to see other type of videos because we're here for you guys and uh yeah hope hope you guys like this video and i'll see you next time thank you guys for watching See ya!